Welcome back. Marie Feebach is the founder of Feed Your Family Tonight, helping our meal planning become more efficient for the whole family. Uh, a lot of times we talk dinners, but man, it is early. We want our breakfast and we want it now, Marie. Well, this is my lemon blueberry baked oatmeal, and it is such a good breakfast to make ahead, and you can have it all week long if you'd like or feed it to your family in the morning. It is really simple. It starts with a one and three fourths cup of milk and then two eggs and a quarter cup of melted butter. And you kind of want to mix these liquid ingredients together. This is kind of a custardy oatmeal. It almost has the taste of like a bread pudding with the custard oh. in it. And then you add a half a cup of brown sugar. With that butter, are we uh, kneading butter as opposed to an oil of some kind? I, I like the flavor of the butter. You could use an oil. If you wanted to make this vegetarian, you could use a coconut oil and then like an almond milk if you wanted, and it would work just fine. But the butter kind of gives it a little bit of a buttery <laughs> flavor. Sure does. Then we add three cups of oats, and this is just regular old-fashioned oatmeal like the Quaker stuff, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And you're just gonna mix this together. All right, and a lot of times there's different kinds of oats, the, the quick oats and the one minute oats. You say this is just the, the normal kind. Regular old fashioned oats. Okay. You could substitute quick oats for this, but I like the texture with the old fashioned oats. I would not use a steel cut oats in this recipe because they won't cook well in the time that you're gonna cook them in the oven. Then once you have this all mixed together, you're going to add two cups of blueberries. Now, I like to use frozen blueberries kind of in the winter. If the blueberries are really good and fresh, fresh blueberries work great. But frozen blueberries are always super sweet and super consistent. And so they're kind of my go-to anytime I'm using berries in a baked dish. Yeah. And we're gonna move over here where I'm gonna spray an eight by eight glass dish. You could use a metal one as well, but I like my glass dishes for this casserole and you wanna spray it really well so that it doesn't stick. And then just mix in those blueberries and pour into your glass dish. All right. And this is going to bake at 350 degrees for about 25 to 35 minutes. With these frozen berries, you're gonna to wanna to go at least 30. If you're using fresh berries, it might be closer to the 25. And it does make a difference too. your blueberry muffins, particularly we've made those at home with the frozen blueberries and it makes a huge difference. It does. Yeah. The frozen blueberries are always consistent yep. and this is what it looks like finished. It's just a nice little casserole that you have. I forgot to add my lemon zest. When you mix this in, add the zest of one lemon and that lemon with the blueberries is just going to make it pop. Okay. A little bit of zest. How much would you say? The zest of one lemon is about a teaspoon. Okay. Wow, so as, as you saw the final product here, there was a conspicuous by its absence, this part, and that's because it's on my plate, so I get to try it out. <laughs> In the meantime, tell us about what's happening at Feed Your Family Tonight. Well, Feed Your Family Tonight, we're always having lots of fun there. There's the Feed Your Family Tonight podcast. If you haven't checked that out, there's always good information. It drops every Friday morning. Uh, we also have the Feed Your Family Tonight Facebook group where you can have questions. If you have things that you want to see on air, please let me know. Um, we've had a couple of suggestions and I've put them in. We'll see them in August coming up from some viewers. So that'll be really fun. The cookbook's always available at Watermark Books and Cafe and also on my website at FeedYourFamilyTonight.com. We're kind of enjoying the last of summer before we gear up for back to school. That's going to be coming at Feed Your Family Tonight, a whole thing about back to school. Mm. So what do you think, Shane? Everything works together so well. I love how the oatmeal breaks down to a nice softness and it goes with that uh, beautiful taste from the blueberries too. So another great submission from Feed Your Family Tonight's Marie Feebach. Thank you so much. We'll be back with more after this. Yeah, that's just delicious, Marie.